Hello guys and welcome to my channel, my name is Phoenix, and today we are looking at Phonecraft. In this episode I'm going to lead you through some new exciting research and I think it's time we got some new tools really that are going to help us in the game. And I suggest that we start with the axle stream and we'll see how we get on. If we have time we'll get with some more. So axle of stream, you just research it in the research table. <laughs> Okay, we got ourselves an axe of stream. It's not difficult to create, but it will cost you one diamond and some phenium axe. So you have to put your items in the this uh, shape in the infusion altar. So let's g and you will need uh, eight arbor, arbor and aqua. So let's get on with that. Okay, so let's put our aspects first. Got two jars. And it doesn't matter if you have other aspects, they can stay and they don't interfere with your infusion crafting, so you can keep the aspects there. So let's top this one up and this one up. And as you can see in here, you need a diamond in one corner, water shards in the other, and a grey wood lock. So let's go with that. Put a diamond in this corner. Water shard in here and in here. And we need great wood log in here. Then let's get our sort of tinium axe. Goes in here and you right click it on the running matrix. And as it did the last time, it will go now. And as you could see, it knocked down one of the shards, so we have to replace it quickly. Oh, it's slowly sucking up the aspects. But yeah, we have to replace the Okay, and we got ourselves an axe of stream. And what it does is really cool item. It acts as a normal axe in the with the and the wooden item, but let's go to the survival. When you get to the tree, it will chop the tree from the top. So you can left click it and it chops the tree from the top. And what it also does, it destroys the item, uh, it destroys the leaf blocks much quicker as well. So your saplings will fall much faster or less. Let's go to this tree. And if you can, you're starting here with the left clicking and it chops the tree. It will connect through the leaves as well. So it will destroy any any locks in there. They basically left click it and it will chop the whole tree for you. So it's a very very useful item. And look uh, like as quick uh, how quick the tree uh, leaves are disappearing. It's all thanks to this item. So it's very, very, very useful tool. Also, as you can read in here, it chops the tree from top to the bottom. You can, you can press and hold right click and it will harvest the tree at much faster rate. So let me show you quickly how it's going to work on the, by holding right click. Let's go to the, let's say to this tree. And if I hold and click, right click, it will chop the entire tree very, very quickly. 
So as you can see, hold on. And the leaves disappear almost instantly, dropping all the saplings you would normally get as well with them. So a very useful tool. Also, if you hold shift, like in here, it will just act as a normal axe. So you can use it that way if you want. So that's your axe of stream. And I think we have enough time and I would like to show you the other tool as well that is really useful in the game. And it's going to be Pickaxe of Core. We're going to discover that now. <laughs> Okay, so we got ourselves a pickaxe of core. And also not too tragic to create. One diamond, two fire shards, one great, great, great wood log, and finium pickaxe. So I'm going to get them now. And we're going to create this tool. Okay, so what we need now is uh, as well, we need some aspects. So we need a uh, You need some uh, sensors, so let's get that one ready. We need some ingis, ignis, so this one, and we need some perfodia. So that's this one. And as we did last time, you put yourself a diamond in one corner. A fire shard in here, fire shard in there, and the great wood log in this corner. Then you come in here, you put your pickaxe, grab yourself a wand, and right click it again. As we step back, it will suck the aspects, as you can see, it takes the ingis. So let's go through that. And it will now slowly destroy the blocks we placed. Diamond, great wood, and it's done. Okay. That's it, we got ourselves the pickaxe of core. And what this cool, cool tool does, let me show you. Okay, so it does two things. The first of all, when you mine ore block, there is a chance that you will mine the cluster instead. And we did the cluster in the previous episode, so the cluster basically can give you a double amount of metal that is w within the ore. And it can also be used to sound out any surface, you right click, to find if there are valuable materials to be to found nearby. So I show you how it works. Let's dig ourselves a little hole and I will be back with you in a second guys. Okay, so I'm in here and if we left click it as normally, as you can see, we have a chance of getting native ion clusters. That will automatically double your ores, which is really, really handy. And on the normal blocks, it just acts a, as a normal pickaxe. But you can right click it, and it will show you these lights that suggest that there are items there. So if we right click it here, it says there is an item in front of us, and here it is. We can right click it again, and we can just follow the lights. And there it is an item as well. So you can use it to find different items, different uh, ores. Also the cool thing it does, I just discovered it accidentally, let me show you. So we spawn ourselves a zombie and we hit it with the axe, it will set it on fire. 
so that's a cool thing as well and as with the the same way we did with the axe if you right hold shift it will just act as a normal normal peak so that's your two tools that are not really that difficult to to discover let me just show you one more thing with the pickaxe okay so it will mine the obsidian blocks for you as well so that's the cool thing about it that you can use it to mine the obsidian blo obsidian and it only cost you one diamond rather than three so you save yourself two diamonds really to get obsidian if you get to the stage first okay guys so today we discovered the axe of stream that was a very handy tool to get the get the wood very easily and it can chop any it can, can chop trees really high you can use it on jungle trees as well so it's very handy and we discovered the pickaxe of core it will double your ores quite easily without going through trouble of alchemically double doubling them and it's quite durable and it can destroy obsidian and set the enemies on fire so it's very useful tool and in the next episode we'll look at the other tools you have a sword so, uh, sword of Zephyr, Shovel of Air Mover, and Hove of Growth. So I will try to have a look at these tools as well in the next episodes. So I hope guys you enjoyed this episode. Please let me know what you think and what should I research next. And I will see you guys next time.